Testing one, two, three. In Rome, I hey everybody. Got to see you again. Everybody, when I say everybody, I mean everybody. I mean everyone around the world. Everyone. Well, let me show you what I'm looking at. Everyone. All the way out there. All the way. All the way over. <laughs> I've been 
been flying. I've been flying. It's Saturday night, and it's um, the premiere of uh, Viv Tour in Second Life. And I've just really been enjoying this view. Um, if the music's not too loud, I'm really working on this. We can leave it at that. Uh, if anybody wants the music up, let me know. Uh, we're just going to be checking out um, my house here in Second Life. And what, what better place to start than on the roof? You know, you got to have a good roof. Um, you know, you got to check for leaks, especially where I'm at right now, because um, there's a bad storm going on outside. Uh, I had some hail. It was banging on the window right behind where I'm looking. And it was um, the first time I had it come from that side. And it was like, you're going to come right in during my premiere and start making things crazy. But it, it had its fury and then it um, moved on. Now it's just kind of raining a little bit. So, but anyway, back to the roof. Inspect the roof. You know, does this roof look good? It looks pretty good to me. Um, and once we inspect the roof, let's go going through the front door for a change. And let's do it graciously. You know, you flew up here, so you might as well fly down. And let's just see if anyone's home. I... Uh, I guarantee you there's nobody home, but um, if anybody's interested in visiting, I welcome anybody to come visit. I'll give you the, um, well, I'm Vivtor Whitfield, V-I-V-T-O-R-W-H-I-T-F-I-E-L-D. -I, -E I think that's about right. Vivtor Whitfield. There's only one. Um, somebody else has that name in Second Life. I would sure like to know about it. I don't even know how they would do that. Uh, maybe, maybe they could. I'd like to know. If you know, let me know. So we're in Second Life. Uh, this is a pre-built house that I had for years. And it comes with me. It moves with me. When I go, um, when I move to different parts, uh, this, this land, I might get tired of that. Or maybe I can't afford to have land right now. It's like, that's really kind of a waste of money, David then I would take up my belongings and go and it would stay with me in my little suitcase. And then when I come around and say, you know what, I got to have some land again. You know, I really miss um, the opportunity of building and, you know, just experiencing this really cool virtual work. So uh, I wanted to introduce you to it. This is my premiere. Uh, I tried to do something a little earlier and had um, audible problems and also I uh, run out of daylight so I'm still working on my green screen so um, I know there's a lot of really good videos out there to teach you how to use green screen and if anybody um, has any suggestions for well I've, I've seen them all so I'm gonna work on that and if you pay attention you'll see it maybe get better because this is screen number one um, I did a um, a screen on Memorial Day, which really turned out kind of cool. It was kind of a test and uh, streamed uh, some of the music from Pretzel.Rocks, which um, I think they rock. Um, I've got the paid version, which uh, lets me stream the music, which I hope is not too loud, so that you can enjoy it and it's legal. And um, I'm streaming right now on Twitch and also YouTube through um, Restream. So I know I'm throwing a bunch of stuff out there, but you know, this is as new to me as it is to you. And uh, if you're watching, I appreciate your eyeballs. I really do. Thanks for looking and checking it out. Um, I'm looking at this. Um, Specular highlights in these trees is really kind of nice. Um, I've got it on um, midday right now because I can change it. In fact, um, 
let's just go out here and I'm using my um, mouse to kind of zoom around. It's almost like a little telescope way of sneaking in. That's a kind of a shot, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to take a picture. I spent, um, no, I didn't spend. I streamed uh, earlier. I really started on time at 7 o'clock. And I went to some really cool places and I had some a lot of fun. And, and then I realized that you can't have your headphones down here playing music. Just to let you know the music's on because my mic was picking it up. So I learned that tonight. I'm, I'm, this is a lot of fun in a lot of different ways. It's a lot of fun doing Second Life and it's really challenging and a lot of fun to stream. So this is my first opportunity to stream and I hope um, I hope people get a kick out of it. So I just pulled up, um, actually, hmm, huh, it's not showing. I, I'm taking a picture of this little scene right here and then I'm going to put it into my... Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the chat over here. Not that there's... You know what's going on in the chat? It's uh, showing you the songs that are um, <laughs> coming up. Boy, if anybody starts watching this and starts talking to me, I'm going to have a hard time keeping up. I'm gonna, I am gonna might have to get an engineer. We'll see how it goes. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, there's, I'm not getting no engineer. I am. I have to do this by myself like everybody else does. Until, you know, I know. I'm deciding what I want to do. Oh, that's what I want to do. I'm going to come over here to the piano. And I wanted to get a nice little shot here. See if it comes out of the way. Oh, you're not even seeing that? Oh my gosh. Really? Looking at my screen. And uh, why am I still on the roof? Ah. You know what? I think I'll be done. No, I did that in the other video. I don't know why my screen preview over here is uh, showing me move. It's not showing the game move. Hmm. That's not right. That's not right at all. Let me do. Uh, let me do a scene change. And bring up another little interesting thing that's going on. I'm starting stream. I'll be right back. And I'm right, and I'm right back. Like I said, I'll be darned, still stuck in the air. Well, that's really interesting. Actually, let me get my phone out. Like I said, this is Premiere. Oh, she's still stuck in the air there, too. What is going on? And I'm moving around. Um, let's see, what can I do? I could, um, hmm. Mm. that's crazy because my guy's moving around here. Okay, you know, see, he's not, he's not, he's on the ground. Okay. Hey, let's go, blues. While I'm trying to figure out what's going on, I think the game started at seven o'clock. I uh, will give you play by play. No, I'm kidding. I won't be giving you play-by-play, -play, but um, good luck to the Blues. St. Louis Blues. <laughs> well, I'm talking to you. So, uh, like I said, this is Premiere, and I think we got some music, and we don't know what in the world. You know, that problem I'm having 
Mouse Without Borders. And um, when I run my VPN, Mouse Without Borders was meant weird. So, that's something else. Viv tour move around. Okay, um, we're gonna take um, a little break. It won't be long, but I'm just gonna restart the game. And I'm still here. Mouse without borders. I was really enjoying you. Um, we are closing down the gate. Okay. So if you're out there listening to this uh, first broadcast, first official broadcast, uh, let me know where you're at. Let me know if you've ever heard of Second Life, if you like it. Uh, if you think it's stupid, just let me know in the comments. Um, if you, if you think that maybe this is kind of going somewhere and uh, you're familiar with Second Life or it looks interesting to you, subscribe and I'll be happy. I'm going to be doing this at least two nights a week, at least two nights a week and maybe even more than that, but, um, we'll see how it goes. I've got a schedule right now, two nights a week. And let me know if there's a certain time that the, if, if you viewing this, what would be a good time for you to watch. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see we are trying to go back to the game. Oh, and we are still stuck there. Hmm. I'll be darned. It's really confusing. Um, 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 um. My actions are happening. Things, you know, I can see myself moving. Sorry, I'm out of the screen. I'm reaching over here. I didn't have to reach over here. This mouse. I want mouse without borders. Um, up, up. We have um, Andy I I'm sorry, this is um, this test night number two premiere. So sorry. I think you've been looking at that still picture for a long time. Well, I'm so sorry because uh, I did not did not have the other um, OBS on. No excuses. That's what these tests are for, or at least these premieres are for. So where were we? We were taking pictures. Oh, you know what? Well, I've got the pictures to prove. So, not to prove, but um, to show you. Um, let's see. We are going to go. Let's go to Second Life, David. Move around. Show everybody that you can move around. Oh, sad, sad, sad. Okay. So, where were we? We were flying high. We were looking at the specular on the palm tree. But first, we were on the roof, and we were, you know, we were talking about inspecting your roof and all that. You heard that, but you didn't, weren't seeing it, and I'm sorry. I apologize. So, I don't think anybody's home. I might edit this later on because it's crazy. 
it's almost like uh, homes of today, right? It, your, your doors open for you, or your. Uh, here's my piano that's stuck in the wall, and I can't get rid of it. You know, and I've been doing this since the early 2000s, and for some reason, well, you know, they, it's a phantom for some reason. But I've turned the phantom off. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's go upstairs. This is kind of tricky going around the corner as you're going up, but this is really popular with a lot of the homes. This is one of my first builds was a bed. You know, I thought, oh, you know, I'm going to, I'm not going to buy a bed. I'm going to make a bed. And I don't know. Let's see. Um, sit here. I think I did that. Sit here. Hmm. Oh, I'm so happy things are moving around. I apologize so much. Okay, whoa. Well, this is how the earlier one went. I was having some very interesting situations. This don't happen too much. Uh, and like, I made this bed, so it's kind of... Stand up. And I knew that was going to happen. But, uh, you know, you just... If you're interested in building, these are um, one, two, three, four, you know, panels. And so you connect them together, you uh, decide how large they are. So it's, you know, it's a lot easier than cut wood. And, and this was a, a certain shape, this round shape, and then put these textures on uh, and etc. And I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that kind of building. If you're not, we're going to be doing some building. We are, um, in fact, one of my projects is we're, we, when I say we're, it's David and Vivtor. We're, and you, y'all, we're going to build, I'm going to try to find a, an image of a house that I think is like, that's my dream house. This one is, you know, I would take this out. But I'm going to pick a, uh, have a, get a picture, and then I'll keep it off to the side. And then I'll show you the process of, um, Kind of breaking it down you know the walls the floor um and just putting it together so it, it'll be a project probably take um two weeks you know uh, well maybe a month depends on how, how much we're streaming and how much you guys like that y'all you guys and girls and them and they so um i'm streaming tonight because this is kind of what I'm going to be doing. This is kind of um, really unscripted, and I run into some technical issues, but I want to keep going forward. Um, I think I said last night I wanted to thank... Um, <laughs> I wanted to thank all the little people. No, I want to thank the big people that I'm standing on their shoulders. I haven't gotten to their quality yet, but... Um, Gaming Careers, it's a YouTube channel, excellent at explaining all of this um, configuration and kind of equipment that you need. And um, the Frugal Streamer, he was really, he was probably the first one I watched, and then the other ones are like trying to more polish up your, your stream. But those two people, I'd like to start by thanking those two. And uh, I'll try to put them in the... Um, some sort of uh, note but in the future you know it's soon going to be as I learn this and see how we're doing um, I don't know if you've seen me play the piano piano island okay we're in the bedroom you would have seen me earlier and I love this over here this is um, uh, this is the house let me see. This is, I was running into this problem earlier. This is a house um, that is, you know, it's big. And, you know, the reason that they put these ceilings in this high is because they know the way you're going to be looking at the world as you're moving around. And when they build these houses, as you'll see, that we go to, they build them like... Um, Vivtor's size, the way that, you know, it would be just a little taller than this, you know, well, but I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but 
you go into small houses, this is kind of what you get. This effect when you come in through here, you get uh, all of a sudden there's walls in your way or whatever. So everything is kind of done um, in a little bit larger scale in Second Life. So there I'm, that's good. So this is a house that I bought years ago and it's still in my inventory. And it's, um, I can't give it away. I can sell it because it's a one of a kind. I paid for it and it's uh, licensed and I can, but I can take it down and build it as much as I want. In fact, I could come over here and um, put up another one because I've got the license to have one. I could do, you know, do a dozen of these if my land would let me um, put all this, the property on here because the prims, um, it depends on what kind of land parcel you have, you've got a certain amount of prims. And if you go over the prims, well, it won't let you go over the prims. So you have to be kind of creative. Here's, um, well, you know what, let's walk around since, um, yeah, we're, we're trying to get out of I'm going to show you a shortcut. Uh, shortcut is, up. Well, it won't let you jump over, but it sure will let you jump up, move forward, and I always go in the pool. I love that. You know, because um, who wouldn't? I wouldn't recommend this to anybody to do, but, you know, if it, the balcony was that close, and this was about 15 feet deep, then... You know, we'd work something out. We'd make it professional. You know, this, there's an accident waiting to happen. But, um, you can't get hurt in this world. In fact, um, oh, ow, ow, ouch. Let me go over here. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. That, that burn just hurt me. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're gonna, what are we gonna do? We're gonna sit here. That's right. We're gonna get up some rays. We're gonna soak up some rays. And a full thank you, Susie. But I, I guess this position is really bad. So let's stand up. And I even worked on that. Okay, that's good. You go that way. Stand up. Mm. And uh, Viftor is also going to get, he's going to get a makeover. Um, because it's been such a long time that uh, there is some really good avatars. It's called uh, Meshes. And I really don't know as much as I'd like to know about it. I've looked at them, but I don't know how to install them. It's complicated. But the avatars now that are using the Meshes, which mine is old school. But the new ones are amazing. They are amazing and the small gestures and so, but we will be doing that during the process of um, these streams. And I hope um, you get a kick out of it. Uh, Second Life, you know, I'm, I'm not, a, don't have any paid promotion, but it is, um, it's free. You just go to secondlife.com um, download the, um, the program. Uh, the only thing is that it's a, it can be a little taxing on your computer. Um, you know, cause there is some, some live graphics that are happening. So it, uh, it depends on what kind of computer, but you know what I would, you know, if you're interested, just try it. If it doesn't work. That would be what would drive me to try to get, uh, an, a, larger computer it might take me a long time but in the meantime you can watch these streams and uh, you can mention anything you want to do we'll check things out still playing music by uh, pretzel rock pretzel dot rock and here's some of the songs that are i think what um i think we're playing uh nathan brimley I think that might be the title by uh, Philip Berry and Nathan Brumley. Playing, oh, I'm sorry, we're playing Holding On. I hope you're enjoying the music and I hope the mix is good. Because I really had kind of an upset earlier. And I do not want that. 
So we're gonna be we're walking around. You know, I promised the premiere tonight, so I want to give um, want to put some time in to uh, what I my new passion, showing off Second Life. And this is um, this is just my little corner of the world. Um, this is a This, this is a really cute and fun thing that I got. And this, again, this was like buying the house. Actually, this was free. Uh, there's a lot of free things in um, Second Life. Lots, especially now. There's so many free things. But you have to have land to put your things out, whether it be your kitchen table, the sofa, um, a boat. It's all about priorities. <laughs> um, but this, I, I really like the way this looks off in a distance. The inside of it is not luxurious at all, is it? I don't know. I have to show you again. It was horrible. And of course, you know, everybody has, um, you know, a piano alongside where their yacht pulls in, of course, you know, with some flames. Um, I just love the reflections here over the uh, years. The, the reality has gotten better and you know it depends on the power of your computer but um you know and, and everybody knows they're doing really amazing things in virtual reality and uh, you know processors are getting faster and just things are better so this game this experience second life has gotten better too oh and i um don't want to show off or anything but this is a simple build that would be great for for someone to start with uh, that had a little bit of land and wanted to do um, these are just simple pieces put together and then um, you, you need um, textures to cover your because if these didn't have a texture on it they would look like plywood which is really cool because it's almost like that's it, your build. You bring in these raw materials. Uh, so actually, I can put one out for you. Let's do that. Um, build. Okay. And we're just, you know, the most basic one is a square. And it didn't really show you, but there's, um, or you didn't hear it. But there's these cute sounds that are associated with Second Life. And I'm going to try to get them in but right now. We never did figure that out. So, um, we are going to, um, turn it. I'm going to edit. I'm going to, um, what's that thing? I just wanted to make it bigger. Okay. And then this was, see, and even the lighting is, of course, affecting that. So, it, you know, it just makes you feel like you're dealing with um, a little bit of, well, it's virtual, trying to be virtual reality. So everything looks like this plywood. So, um, and probably, you know, everybody probably would be I don't know if everybody would do it. Let me know. Whatever. No. God, stop saying that. Plywood. Or... Maybe, um, maybe that's maybe what these are made out of. Um, plank size pieces of wood we see at, um, might see at a local hardware store. So that's how you build. You would pull something out, uh, and then um, I'll show you how to change the surfaces, uh, the textures, because all this was made of the same thing. All of this house was made of pieces of plywood put together. They decided the thicknesses that they wanted. Uh, the flooring down down here, the slate, you know, this goes below the sand so that you can have some interest in, uh, like, ground. Um, this is like a piece of plywood, this window, but there's a clear window texture on it. So it makes the plywood look like a window. So it's still a prim. Still the same thing. 
Um, each one of those steps is a prim. Uh, this piano has, um, you know, I want to say it has 98 prims. Or 88. I want to say it has 88 prims. But I think it's about 72. And this is, of course, the piano that I can't get out of the wall. Making me mad. Ow! Jeez. So I'm going to leave this here. Um, and this will remind us um, where we left off. Where should we go? Um, we could, um, let's go to um, where I was before I had sound issues. I save this in my, um, my history traveling. Okay, here we go. It's a uh, mesmeric code. And let's just check it out. I'm going to be trying to do an, between an hour and two hours twice a week. But tonight I kind of had some technical issues, but I really feel bad that there was nothing, nothing recorded that was worth showing. And so this is where I started. And I went out and decided to show you that I can walk out of that ocean. Well, and I got stuck. But you know, now I kind of know my way around here. So I'm going to go ahead and walk out here. Oh yeah, and I get, I realize it starts getting deep. So let's fly up. We're going to go over here. Kind of learned, learned the island a little bit. There's some interesting things over here. There's a rock. Um, oh, that's really interesting. What well, in the world is that? Well, this is a ship. Or not a ship. This is a boat. Right? This is a sailboat. David learns when he's in Second Life. He, you know, he gets out more. So, I thought that was cool. I really was appreciating the color of the sky. Which I realized that you can change the color of the sky. Like, wherever you live and this is a really cute um, uh, and I sat in there oh well we might as well do that because that was pretty fun and now uh, fly we fly okay <laughs> oh we go and we go so this is place is just dying for you to get in here you see, you kind of hover your finger and it says, Ooh, take a seat. Um, I was in the middle the last time I was in the middle. Oh, that's so funny. Let me sit there. No, that's okay. So, isn't it cute? But it doesn't, you know, take off or anything like that, but. That's a good picture. We were taking pictures because we're going to be putting them in. Um, yeah, and it shows you, but it's not. It won't show up in the picture. We're going to be putting them in the um, slideshow, which will be um, kind of an intermission kind of screen. So I thought that was really cute. Stand up. Stand up. Walk out. Oh yeah, and we um, yeah, this, he, Vivtor really likes this. Um, this is the first time I've been here. Well, I, I wrote them down of some really interesting places. And we're going to sit here. There we go. And then, and he is just, man, he just it's like he, he lives here. You know, he's grew up here because he is like super casual, super casual. And we already took some pictures here. Um, and, uh, yeah. You know what? It's almost like I had a rehearsal over here. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Some of my favorite things to have on a Saturday night is chili hot dogs. 
Um, I make them myself. You know, I just buy a can of uh, chili hot dog and it's just a little treat, but here we are. Oh, you know what? This isn't hot dog. What do you think this is? This is, this is ice cream. Ice cream, get your ice cream. Get your ice cream. Hello, where is everybody? Where is everybody? This is a very lonely little town. It's pretty. But it's very lonely. And there's some really interesting, um, hmm. Yeah, that's the way we went. And we weren't afraid. Oh, in the world, we have bears. I did not see the bears the last time. There's some sheep ahead. Oh, girl. I did not see these bears the last time. And what is this one? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it has a fish. I'm not going to take your fish. I am not. I swear I'm not going to take your fish. Let me just squeeze, squeeze you by past you here. Thank you. Oh, yeah. This is a nice place to have a little hoedown. Uh-oh. Need to slow down. Hard to slide. And here's some other animals. Um, I did not see the bear the first time, but these sweet little things were here. And I was talking about how you maybe could have bought animals. Um, it hasn't loaded yet. You could have bought animals back in um, early to mid 2000s. And if you buy one today, it's going to look better. But the animals they bought years ago, they still own the inventory. So it's nice little things to set out. And you can also, animals you can get, depends on the land that you have. Um, you have to own, probably own your own land and then you can get animals that breed. And then, you know, you wake up in the morning and now you have three horses. So, well, those bears didn't come after me and they seem to be in harmonious in our harmony, harmonious with um, these sheep that are out here. Yeah, that was another picture I took that really turned out good. I really love the, these skies. There's so much in Second Life that if you're kind of a geek or if you're into virtual reality, it's very satisfying. Just as a little getaway, and especially nowadays because these waves they did not look like that um, eight years ago ten years ago they did not look like that things have gotten better and some things hold up over the time over the over the years maybe these trees were kind of high-end trees when they bought them and they probably paid a fortune for them because everything in this world was designed by somebody these trees are all Primitives, you know, even though we've seen just a square box, these trees, um, they might be meshed. And that's a new thing. When we talked about meshing, meshes when we were talking about my avatar, makes things smoother. Uh, you have to be really creative when you're dealing with just a few. Uh, you know, where can you go? You can just walk up and... What do they do? And eat in the Christmas light? But I can't spook them for nothing, can I? Um, what was I saying? Oh, we have another... More wild. This wildlife was not out here. That moves around. And I don't know what that is. That's... What is... It still hasn't done. Um, this might that might be a mesh. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out together. But for some reason, it's just um. Oh, now it's getting some texture on it. Now it's starting to get some texture. Oh, pose for the camera, girl. Now it's getting some texture. Well, maybe not. Alrighty then. Moving on. Which way are we going? We are going. 
I thought this was a really great um, architectural feature. Um, as you're going up this hill, which you know, every when you buy land and it's virgin land, it's all flat. It's just as flat as can be, and you have to pull these hills up. So I thought this was a real creative way for you to go up the hill, and would be a, an amazing um, construction for someone to do. It would take a lot of skill to go up the hill like that with something really cool, like these decks and these tiers. And we're not going in there. That is just the sauna, but it's, uh, like I said, it's, you go in there and it's so small, your avatar's missing. Um, yeah, we went up there. That was uh, some, somebody's house, I think it is. Or at least it's staged to look like somebody's house. I think this is an area that, um, you know, there's really nobody living, but it just wants to look like there's something going on. So there's usually a place, and I did this again. I got caught in this. It's just a place to, but usually there's a place you can uh, donate. Um, you know, if you enjoyed it, if you want to come here with some other people, um, you could have sat at the, the fire. You could sit at the, at the, um, sailboat, uh, I think you might be able to ride the gondola. Actually, this train is a train to nowhere. Is this a train to nowhere? Where in the world is this train going? Does it go underwater? Ooh, sneaky. That can't happen just anywhere. Just in Second Life. Yeah, this gondola. There's only a few of them. And you know what? I might be able to sit on that, but that would take, I think we could have more fun somewhere. Else. Let me know if you want to see how things work like that. Yeah, these are kind of like, you think of them as, um, wow, that's nice. Look at that. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm going to take that picture. That, um, that smoke is really good. I'm impressed by some of these. And we have our locomotive right here, of course. That's the one that's pulling that. Ah, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, really? Here we go. Push me, pull me. Here, no, this is Second Life, but you know what? Visually very interesting. Uh, I don't think we went over there. So I just wanted to make um, make up for earlier because I really um, had a problem with um, the music and the voice. I'd rather you hear my voice and also, you know, the, um, the green screen kind of... Um, I had problems as the, the sun went down. So I decided to just go raw, you know. But I eventually would like to, um, you know, utilize that because it's, it's nice to not have the distractions of um, my the room behind me. So let's end up going. Um, some of these controls up here you can't see, but I will... Put them in if you if you want to see it if you want to start checking it out or if you just want to come along for the ride. We are going world, teleport home, home sweet home. Right at the same spot, but I do not like that time of day. I mean, the way it shows in this world. I think it's sunrise. And it's just, so let's end this with um, midnight. What well, midday? That's midday. Midnight. So that's about um, the time it might be getting around for y'all. Oh, 
beautiful star is better seen. Maybe I'll get that. Actually, the lighting at night is unique. I mean, it's, it's different than the daytime, but all those flames and... Okay, let's take a walk over there. That's maybe usually... That's where I ended up one night, and the interiors lit up pretty. Um, I think this is one of my favorite times of at night. When, when I'm building, I want to build in the daytime. So I bid you good night. And um, I will see you here. <laughs> Did this the other time too? Oh yeah, nice, David. Well, I'll be perched right up here, you know, very, it's comfortable, you know, I'm good. So I'll be perched right up here, and I'll stand up, do it right. Sit here. Sit here. crazy crazy and coming to you from um piano island and the piano in the middle of the wall i will see you on wednesday if not before thank you so much for coming by and checking it out let me give you a nice little ending screen and i'll see you next time